Dr. Barry Prezant, in his book, Uniquely Human, writes, autism isn't an illness, it's a different way of being human. Dr. Prezant wrote this book to challenge the attitude that autism is a tragedy, arguing instead that there is no such thing as autistic behavior, there is only human behavior. He reframes what is referred to as a person's obsession or their fixation as an enthusiasm or a passion. He talks about the role of intervention, not as a way of changing the behaviors of children and adults on the spectrum to be more normal, but instead to identify and to put supports into place so that they can live, so that these individuals can live meaningful and productive lives. April 2nd is World Autism Awareness Day. March 21st is World Down Syndrome Awareness Day. And every year I tweet out my support for these campaigns and I even marched in an autism awareness parade in Montreal this year. But my vision for Canada goes far beyond just promoting awareness. My vision is for a society that is excited about inclusion and diversity, where opportunities exist for all people to make meaningful connections within their families, within their cities, their schools, their workplaces, their neighborhoods, where relationships can be formed between people who experience the world differently, and where the existence of an intellectual disability, whether autism or Down syndrome or any other cognitive difference, is not considered to be a person's defining feature because there is so much more to a person than their intellectual ability. In 1968, the Special Olympic movement was born. And since that time, Special Olympics Canada has been providing programs and opportunities for Canadians with an intellectual disability to showcase their athleticism. Through engagement with sport, athletes benefit physically, but also socially and emotionally, developing confidence as they learn new skills surrounded by their peers. The Special Olympics oath says, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Special Olympics teaches these individuals about sportsmanship and teamwork, but it also encourages self-respect and pride in their achievement. The movement is all about celebrating the athletes and all that they can do and giving them a place to be themselves. I've seen the benefits of Special Olympics personally. My older sister has been involved with the group in St. Albert for as long as I can remember. She's won uh, medals in tournaments for bowling across Alberta. She's participated in slow pitch and in basketball. And she was even part of a Special Olympic Zumba class in Edmonton this winter. Um, and I'd be forgetting a major aspect of Special Olympics if I did not talk about their dances. Uh, there is no tournament or athlete wind-up event that is complete without a chance for the athletes to rip it up on the dance floor. It's impossible not to smile at their energy and their joy and to see their uninhibited love of dancing. Well, I've always understood Special Olympics as a place for my sister to belong, to find friends, to make community, to dance her face off. I didn't always recognize how her world and my world intersected. Special Olympics was a great community for her, but it was still something separate from me. But then I met a group of people in Calgary who completely changed my perspective in Calgary. Motion Ball is a Canadian organization dedicated to introducing young professionals to the Special Olympic movement. Their mission is to raise awareness and funds for Special Olympics, but the Etherington brothers who started Motion Ball in Ontario, they had a vision that went far beyond building awareness. They wanted to plan events where young professionals would engage directly with the athletes and where the next generation of donors and sponsors would know the individuals that they were supporting. Motion Ball's flagship event, the Marathon of Sport, uses sports as a bridge for that connection. Teams are paired up with uh, an athlete for a day of competition to celebrate the athletes and let them show off their skills, but most importantly, to give them a chance to participate equally as one of the team. This year, there will be 21 Marathon of Sport events across Canada in eight provinces, and there are Motion Ball chapters who plan legendary gala events to put the celebrate in Motion Ball's educate, integrate, celebrate slogan, because it's not just the athletes who like to dance their faces off. In 2016, Motion Ball donated over $1.2 million to the Special Olympics Canada Foundation, but more importantly than that, over 7,000 Canadians had the opportunity to spend a day with a Special Olympics athlete. Friendships are formed on the field at Marathon of Sport, and athletes, participants, and volunteers count down the days between one year's event and the next. 
I am one of the 30 volunteer National Motion Ball event directors who are committed to seeing this movement continue to spread into new cities across Canada. For three years, I've been involved with the group in Calgary, and now I am so excited to be the event director of Edmonton's inaugural Marathon of Sport event, coming to the City of Champions this September. Our goal is to bring 20 teams together and to be able to write a check at the end of the day for $25,000, and I really hope that all of you will consider joining in. The money raised by Motion Ball events in Calgary and Edmonton goes back to the Provincial Special Olympics chapter. What attracted me to Motion Ball was walking into a room and seeing my peers excited about Special Olympics, even though they don't have a personal connection with an athlete. This experience caused me to redefine my own perceptions of integration and inclusion, even between me and my sister. Her world and my world aren't so distinct. Motion Ball has been the mechanism for me to engage with individuals who experience the world differently than I do. And the future direction for Motion Ball Chapters is to give this, this experience to the next, next generation. And in a bunch of cities, there are already Motion Ball University chapters that are starting up. Motion Ball and the Special Olympics movement are certainly not the only organizations that are pushing our society towards inclusivity. In high schools, there are unified programs where students of all abilities are competing in sports together. Um, and even Sesame Street and Thomas the Tank Engine are starting to develop and introduce characters that exhibit autistic traits to introduce young children to the diversity of the human experience. I am excited about a world where, where inclusion and diversity are celebrated. In a world that likes to divide between us and them, it's not about creating a space for them and creating a space for us. It's about recognizing our common humanity and creating a world where all people can have value and live meaningful and productive lives in their families and in their communities. Thank you. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you for...